Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here with the most exciting video. I am so happy. My most anticipated book of the year is here. Yippee Kawaii, Volume 2. And if you can believe it, this is even better than Volume 1, in my opinion. And I love Volume 1. Volume 1 is probably my favorite coloring book. So I want to flip through this for you and show you all the little extra goodies I got and yes, we'll talk all about it. First, it came packaged in a nice cellophane bag to protect it during shipping, but I had to get that out of there. Um, and also, if you order it as a pre-order, which I'm not positive it's still a pre-order, I'm gonna check and I will have the link down below, of course, to this book. It's from Etsy, from Fun Usual Suspects is the store. And um, if it's a pre-order, you got some bonuses. So I'll show you that first. You got this extra page. It says, you got this. Probably. I don't know. And I think this is so funny. And I showed this to my husband and he laughed. And I'm excited to color this. And she actually sells stickers with this image on it. And I might try to copy the colors of her stickers to do my page. So we'll see. And if you ordered early, you also got a magnet. So look at that cute little magnet. And then she gave me this little card. Someone thinks you're amazing as a thank you card. Like these tiny... You're, you're a quality person um, with like a coupon if you shop again. Obviously, I'm not going to show that. But she makes all of these stickers, like characters and stickers, including this little guy. So just be you. And I love her stickers too. I have one on my bullet journal. And I have, well, I'll get to it when we get to it. But I have one of her characters on a shirt. So I'm a fan girl. For sure. But here we go. Yippee Kawaii. Mandala Magic Volume 2 by Danny Banani. So she changed the layout of her intro page. And I'm not going to read it on screen. So pause if you want to read it now. But I say get your copy and read it then. Um, it's spiral bound at the top obviously. It's got a clear uh, plastic spiral. And this is an intro about who she is. And about the mandalas. I just... Well, you, know, you see it, <laughs> what mandalas are, things like that. And here's some of the iconography that's in this book around the edge, and that's her pets. So she has two pups and a kitty. So this is your blotting page, which is super cute. The last blotting page had a penguin, and now we got this bear and the penguin. So I wonder if volume three ever happens, if we'll have like a bear, a penguin, and somebody new. But there is a dotted line that you can cut this out and put it between your pages. I do that with my other book. I don't think anything has bled through that other book though. So I haven't really needed it, but it's great to have. Then she has the coloring test page where you can test your tools and things. And again, this is all icons from within the book, which is super, super cute. And on my other volume, I did 100% test all of my mediums in here. And I would just like color the little unicorn in Prismacolors. And then I wrote Prismacolor next to him. So I will probably do something similar again. Otherwise, this is just super cute. All right, on to the next. All right, so the format of this book is so great. They're all circle mandalas. If you cut them along the line, they're eight by 10 if you wanted to frame them. But some of my favorite little details is they all have really fun names. Like I was looking through this and laughing and they all have your color test key that you can use to put your color palette. So I personally so far have tried to keep myself to however many colors fills up this area. So I usually do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I usually do like five solids and three glitters but it can vary from picture to picture but so this is cruise in for a bruise in and it is like coffee starbucks themed so shana another good one for you our barista friend is so cute oh my gosh wholehearted <laughs> uh donut puns i love this guy with his glasses on and all the little donut holes. I, I can't, I can't get over it. I really love the book and there's such great variety in this one with like the shape and size of all of the images. It's, it's great. So let's see. Making fetch happen. <laughs> so all the puppies. Noodles is an up ear pup. I think her ears are even a little bigger than that, but I'm so excited to color the puppies. Like this, look how big that guy is. That's really great. Great variety, I'm excited. The flight stuff, 
Shockingly, this is a bird page, but I think it's super, super cute. I don't know why, uh, for whatever reason, I like these birds. So she, she cracked the code. She figured it out. I think Toucan Sam just reminds me of the cereal. And I don't know. Super cute. The penguin laying down. <laughs> Bloom with a view. Flowers. This is a really cute. I think she has stickers with this flower on it. She's stickered with a lot of these little characters and it's great and I want all of them too. So we'll get there. Fright Club. She Samuel, can you wait a minute to do that? Yeah. Samuel's eating chips. Anyway, all right, so Fright Club. She has some monster pages in volume one that were a lot of fun because you can really go crazy with colors. So here's a new monster page in volume two. I like this worm guy a lot and this like dino unicorn. Ooh, and bats. It's like a ghost bat. <gasps> Seeing is believing and here he is, my guy. This is my blobfish and he's the sticker on everything that I have. So I have a shirt that says, oh my blob, and the sticker that says, oh my blob. And I obviously, I love sea critters a whole ton. And there's my turtle friend. So this is one of my favorites. Going bananas. So I'm not a huge monkey girl in general, but I think this one is so cool and unique how it's like a whole scene repeated instead of just individual images. Like this is a whole tree with them hanging out. And this monkey is dressed like a banana and that's super cute so I'm excited to do that one that's my only problem and I want to know everyone's opinion when there's the same animal over and over again sometimes I have trouble picking colors because again I personally have the problem where I'm always wanting to make them realistic so like in my head they all have to be brown monkeys but then I don't know how to make it look different so I'll have to Look around as people start posting theirs to see what they do with that page. I think this might be my favorite. This is Mo Honey No Problems. And I'm just obsessed with this bear and all the little bees. And they're like adorable little bees. And this bee's dressed like a flower. And I cannot wait to do this page. It is so cute. So definitely one of my favorites. Shake That Booty. We got a pirate theme page. At about this point in the book, I started to list the titles to Sam and ask him to guess what the themes were. He was not very good at it, but Shake That Booty is in fact a pirate themed. Also, I didn't know what this was at first, but it's a little hook. I think that like upside down, I didn't understand, but it's a little hook like Captain Hooks. <laughs> Teamwork makes the beam work. I love this one. I'm obsessed with the like alien theme going on and I just want more alien themed things. And she delivered here. I love this guy waving. So cute. I like the whole little group of them. Feline fancy free. And it's a whole bunch of cats, but they're all different types of cats. So it's like a cat with a laser beam and a space cat and a planet cat. And a mer kitty, shark cat. Love it. She Again, there's definitely stickers of some of these guys too. So if you are liking cats, she's got a lot of good cat stickers. All tuned up. Ah, it's all musical instruments from a guitar pick all the way up to a trumpet. Like how unique is that? It's so cool. All tails, no fails. So this is mermaids of all different creatures, a bunny and a pup, a dinosaur, penguin, sloth, llama. And then I just like that there's just like squid, or I guess probably octopus. You can only see four of their little arms, but you can, you can infer that the other four are back there. Bunny, I love it so much. Serene Savannah, are you kidding? I love this giraffe. I love like, the, these are the land critters that I like. The big boys, the hippo, the di the dino. The hippo, the elephant, and the giraffe. Those are like my favorite land creatures. Because again, I'm a sea critter kind of gal. But I can't wait. And I don't know why. These are the cutest snakes. I love those snakes. You want a piece of me? And it's birthday themed. Ah, So this will be perfect, Kathy, if you get yours. And Well, you should. You pre-ordered. So when you get yours for your birthday themed month... I know a lot of you guys have May birthdays too, so you're gonna have to whip this one out. This would be super cool 
to like, I'm, I'm just thinking, I have a lot of coloring friends that have May birthdays and I can like dedicate a cake to each of them. So we will see. Feeling foxy. See, I love it and I think it's so cute, but this is another one that I'm gonna need advice on how to color them all different. So I know in the first volume, there was a page of like cats that were all like different shapes of cats and I just did neon colors. So I wanna know what you guys would do with this page. Oh, stuck. Life's a beach. <laughs> like, it's so cute. I love this chair so much. I love the little bucket. I love all of it. I can't, I don't, uh, I love it all. Making a splash. Are you kidding me? I forgot that this was here and this is one of my absolute favorites. But it's a bunch of our animal friends from throughout the book and now they're all playing in the rain. So they have raincoats and they have umbrellas and they're splashing. Oh my, it's, the little frog is using a flower as his umbrella. I can't get over it. And I love it. And I love that there's so many pages in this volume that has a variety of the creatures. As good as it pets. Oops, we're sliding down. As good as it pets. Another turtle, first of all. That's obviously the first thing my eye goes to. But how fun that all the different types of pets are here. I love it. I've always been a fish gal myself for owning pets. Obviously, now I have noodles, so... I have her too, but, and I did have hamsters growing up, so. But it's so cute. Even this bird doesn't bother me. <laughs> Lots of bots. So she has a robot page in the first book and she's brought it back for this one, but it's different shapes of robots. And like, look at, these guys have huge eyes. So, and I like, I don't know what this guy is, but I like him, he's like a cloud. Crawl ready for this? Are you kidding me? I love this. Unfortunately for Emily, there are butterflies, but I just think this is so fun and it reminds me of Bugs Life and I love this guy and I, I'm obsessed with this worm. I love this worm. Can I? My worm is over there. I made a little worm out of a shrinky dink. I just, it's so cute. I used to like keep caterpillars as pets. I don't, I don't know. I would have a box and give them some Leaves and things like that. Okay, another one of my favorites, A Civilized Afternoon, and it's like tea and books. She definitely has some magnets and bookmarks and stickers with this book on it. So he's a popular guy, and I love the little tea bags. And I just think it's so cool, the variety of shapes in this one. I said it already, but like this spans the whole mandala, and then there's tiny images in between, and I just love the variety. Cosmic Critters, it's all our friends again, but now they're in space. I, like, ugh, I can't get over it. There's her monster. And my the bunny is riding a carrot rocket. Holmes is where the heart is. So it's like Sherlock Holmes themed. How cool, with his hat and more pups. There's a lot of pups in this one, which I'm pleased with. I'm a dog lady. I love it so much. Party Like It's 1999. I saw this in the preview and it's on the cover and I was like, oh, that's for me. I'm one of those millennials that I'm obsessed. I had a purple Tamagotchi with a pink window and pink buttons that I drowned because I had it on a necklace. So like I have a necklace on. So this was my Tamagotchi and I bent over to drink water and I dunked the Tamagotchi in the water fountain and drowned it. So still upset about that, but I can't wait to do this page. Ring pops, like rolls of film. This S, I love it all. Jaws because, <laughs> I can't. Um, I'm obsessed with sharks. This is a, another Danielle fact, but I've just every year watched Shark Week for like the past 20 years and wanted to be an ichthyologist for a little bit. So I'm very excited to color all these sharks. And I've seen the whale sharks in the George Aquarium a bunch of times. Twice, it was twice, but I love them, so. Easel does it, Whoa. this is so good. So it's all art supplies, which I love art supply books anyway. And then each easel has a different little critter on it and it's so great. I love it so much. I love the ruler, the paint. You could have so much fun with this page. Don't panic picnic. I love this sandwich. Uh, 
some lemonade. Samuel, you didn't make it, buddy. Nope. <laughs> picnic basket. I want to go on a picnic. I always want to go on a picnic, and then I get there, and I sit on the ground, and there's ants, and then I'm like, I don't want to be here anymore. But I like the idea of the picnic, and I think coloring the picnic is going to be safe. There's some ants, though, even in the page, so better watch out. And then finally, the main attraction, which, of course, a unicorn page where you can let the color explode everywhere. And we got rainbows and it's so cute. So, oh, and this actually ties in with that because there, there they are right there. So, so super cute. I love it a lot. That's 30 new pictures. I don't know about you guys, but to me that felt like a lot more than 30, but maybe because I gushed over each one of them. And again, it's on a high quality. Um, it's got a really nice cover and a thick, it almost feels waterproof. I don't recommend dropping water, but it feels like if you accidentally splash, you'd be good. And the paper is great. And again, in my first volume, obviously I just got this a few hours ago, but in volume one, almost nothing went through to my uh, blotter page. So, and I use Sharpies most of the time. So I recommend keeping that blotter in there, but you should be good to go. I will definitely have this linked down below. Again, I'm not sure if it's a pre-order or if it's just ready, but either way, you should definitely pick it up. Let me know if you're going to, if you already did. And yeah, you're gonna see, hopefully, at least one finished page from me this month out of this one. I might have to do one from the old book, one from the new book, and like keep going back and forth to not neglect the old book, but we'll see. And I, I'm ready for volume three, right? Everybody ready for volume three? I think it's in the works, but she said that there might be a different coloring book coming out first. So we'll all have to keep our eyes and ears peeled and I'll let you know anything I find out. But thank you so much for watching. What was your favorite page if you had one? And again, let me know if you're gonna pick one up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow with something new. Bye.